All right, guys, we are back. God, that feels good to say. It's been too long. Far, far, far too long, but that doesn't matter. We're back in the kitchen now, right in time for Thanksgiving. Tonight, we're making mashed potatoes. Super easy, but it's a staple for Thanksgiving. So let's get cooking. We're back. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All you're gonna need, obviously, potatoes. I'm using rusted potatoes. You can use Yukon Gold or Russet. Those are the two I would stick with. You can use a combination of both if you'd like. I'm gonna leave the skins on. Mostly because I don't want to go through the process of peeling. Too much work, just make sure they're nice and scrubbed if you leave the skins on, because potatoes, they come from the ground. And then I have some heavy cream. I like mine, especially around Thanksgiving, really rich, really creamy. So I'm opting with some heavy cream. You can use half and half, you can use whole milk, you could even use 2% milk, and then butter. That is it. And we have some salt, pepper. I throw a little nutmeg in. That's gonna be my little twist on this one, but very easy. This is a basic mashed potato. You can get crazy with it. You can use some garlic, you can use some rosemary, you can throw in chives. But tonight, the basic recipe. So let's get started. First thing is first, we need to chop our potatoes. Let me just make sure I'm doing all, look, we switched it up. Remember the GoPro that was here? No longer there, why? Because I lost the SD card. You can't boil the potatoes whole. They're not even sized. The outside is gonna cook before the inside. You're gonna get mushy outside, hard inside. That's no good, we don't want any of that. So just cut them up into rough, go about like, like that big. Caught it. A little bit bigger than your thumb. It's all about them cooking evenly. You don't wanna, the biggest thing with mashed potatoes, you don't wanna overcook them. All we're gonna do now is get a pot. We're gonna fill that up with cold water, just until the potatoes are covered. If we put them into boiling water right away, same thing is gonna happen where the outside is cooking faster than the inside and then you overcook the outside, no good. With cold water, they're all gonna to come to temperature evenly, cook through evenly, perfect, that's what we want. High heat, we're gonna bring it up to a boil. I don't know why it's whistling like that. Doesn't matter, we're gonna go with plenty of salt. And now we'll just give that a quick stir and we will be back. I don't like how this is sounding though. Sounds like a crematory. All right guys, once your potatoes are boiling, what you're looking for is them to become fork tender. So what that means is if you poke it with a fork, it goes through with ease. Fuck. See how this is uh, not there yet. So keep it going. Total time should be anywhere. It's like, I don't know, 12 to 18 minutes around that, just based on how thick you, you cut your potatoes. And beautiful, that's what you're looking for. Stab with a fork, it went right through. No added pressure, nice. Those are done. So we'll turn that off the heat. Strain your potatoes. Get all that liquid out. You don't want any moisture. Give these a good shake. Really get that water up. The enemy of good mashed potatoes, if there's moisture still in the potatoes, it's gonna fuck it up. We're gonna put these back into the pot. We boil them in. And we're gonna put this on low heat. Come on, come on. Nothing's really changed. This kitchen still never wants to work. Where's my lighter? Put that on low heat and what we're gonna do, just give these a little bit of a shake. This is just gonna help cook off any remaining liquid in the potatoes. While that's doing that, we can take our heavy cream and our butter, this is about half a stick of butter, maybe a little more. It's Thanksgiving, all right? It's not the holiday, it's not the pinnacle of health. So don't worry about how much butter you're using. Butter's gonna make this taste a lot better. And we're gonna just melt that. Wow, that's, I'm cutting it close there with the, uh, the level there. We're gonna melt that together, let that go. You wanna put cold butter and cold cream into your potatoes, because then that's gonna take all your heat out. It's not gonna melt evenly. No, melt it in the microwave first. Do I have a potato masher? I think I do. Uh, I had one at one point. Rob, where's the potato masher? So if you don't have a potato masher like me, you can use uh, a fork will work just fine. Get the biggest fork you have. Or I actually have, this, I'm gonna use this whisk. Before we put any of the cream in, just give this a base mash. You don't wanna over mix them. You do not wanna over mash. You wanna do just the right amount. The more you mash, the more you release the starches in the potatoes, and that's gonna get really gummy, really thick, really fast. So you overwork them, that starch is gonna just thicken up like this. Not gonna be good. It's all about the texture with potatoes. That's how you can go from really good potatoes to shit potatoes in a second. Just start breaking them up like that and then we're gonna slowly start adding in our cream butter mixture and these are gonna start to come together. It's that easy though. Mashed potatoes, nothing to, nothing really to break your head over. Also, this is gonna work for if you wanna do sweet potatoes. Sub and sweet potatoes, that exact same process. You can press it all through a sieve and get really, really, really fine mashed potatoes like a pump puree. I'm not gonna do that. It's good to be back, you guys. It's good to be back. Beautiful. And then of course the most important seasoning. You want a lot of fresh ground black pepper and mashed potatoes. Don't just put in anything from a can. You should never use that. You should always crack your, your uh, pepper fresh. And then salt, a little bit of kosher salt goes in. A nice pinch, again, always taste and move. If you use salted butter, cause that's all you had, okay, then keep that in mind. When you go to salt, you're already gonna have a salt content in there from the butter, so you're not gonna need as much. But that is looking good, look at that. Come on now, look at that. I like a little bit of nutmeg, not much, like we're talking half a teaspoon, maybe even less, a fourth of a teaspoon. This is gonna give you a little bit of, mm, little what? Excuse me? It's the holidays, nutmeg, holidays, go hand in hand. Not only is it great for cooking, 
It's a poor man's drug. If you're out of it, I've said this before, if you have nothing else, you can eat like two tablespoons of nutmeg, woo, 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 woo. you're gonna be up for a few days. We've got beautiful mashed potatoes. Perfect texture, look at that fluffiness. Look at that fluff, that's what you want. We're back. And that's gonna do it for tonight's episode. That's a simple mashed potatoes. We got so much more coming up for Thanksgiving, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. That's not gonna happen again. I'm back in the kitchen and I'm not leaving. We'll see you next time. Peace.